abrin, a phytotoxin, plant poison, found in the seeds of a plant called the rosary pea or jaquiridae pea. These seeds are red with a black spot covering one end. Abrin is similar to ricin, a toxin that is also found in the seeds of a plant, the castor bean plant, although abrin is much more poisonous than ricin. Abrin can be made in the form of a powder, a mist, or a pellet, or it can be dissolved in water. Powdered abrin is yellowish white in color. Abrin is a stable substance, meaning that it can last for a long time in the environment despite extreme conditions such as very hot or very cold temperatures. The seeds of the rosary pea have been used to make beaded jewelry, which can lead to abrin poisoning if the seeds are swallowed. Abrin is currently of concern as a possible agent of bioterrorism. Abrin works by getting inside the cells of a person's body and preventing the cells from making the proteins they need. Without the proteins, cells die. Eventually this is harmful to the whole body, and death may occur. The major symptoms of abrin poisoning depend on the route of exposure and the dose received, though many organs may be affected in severe cases. Initial symptoms of abrin poisoning by inhalation may occur within 8 hours of exposure. The likely symptoms are respiratory distress, difficulty breathing, fever, cough, nausea, and tightness in the chest. Heavy sweating may follow as well as fluid building up in the lungs, pulmonary edema. This would make breathing even more difficult, and the skin might turn blue. Excess fluid in the lungs would be diagnosed by x-ray or by listening to the chest with a stethoscope. Finally, low blood pressure and respiratory failure may occur, leading to death. Following ingestion of abrin, initial symptoms may occur in less than 6 hours but usually are delayed for 1 to 3 days. Symptoms would include vomiting and diarrhea that may become bloody. Severe dehydration may be the result, followed by low blood pressure. Other signs or symptoms may include hallucinations, seizures, and blood in the urine. Within several days, the person's liver, spleen, and kidneys might stop working, and the person could die. A brin in the powder or mist form can cause redness and pain of the skin and the eyes. Death from a brin poisoning could take place within 36 to 72 hours of exposure, depending on the route of exposure, inhalation, ingestion, or injection, and the dose received. If death has not occurred in 3 to 5 days, the victim usually recovers. Because no antidote exists for abrin, the most important factor is avoiding abrin exposure in the first place. If exposure cannot be avoided, the most important factor is then getting the abrin off or out of the body as quickly as possible. Abrin poisoning is treated by giving victims supportive medical care to minimize the effects of the poisoning. The types of supportive medical care would depend on several factors, such as the route by which victims were poisoned, that is, whether poisoning was by inhalation, ingestion, or skin or eye exposure. Care could include such measures as helping victims breathe, giving them intravenous